Hey, what's going on? Global Studies class, welcome on back. It is a beautiful Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. Hope you are having a great day and a great week. Uh, it's Wednesday, so you know what that means. It's a... Uh, hump day! Yeah! Hump day! Wednesday, 7th. And by 7th, I mean 12th. What on earth am I talking about? Wednesday, 12th. Hope you're having a great, great week. Uh, what do we got today? We're going to do a last class review. We have a hypothetical question. Not questions, question. And then your attendance and assignment. So last class review. You guys were supposed to use that imagination of yours. It was brilliant. Beautiful job. You came up with ways that you would spend the government's money. Five ways you'd spend it all to make a better place, to make our country better. Well done. <laughs> Bravo. I know it was a little bit tough. I uh, had some issues, some people had some questions, some people were missing the idea a little bit, but for the most part, we all did a good job. We thought big, thought about big things would make big change. Now, that leads us into today with a hypothetical question. And that hypothetical question is this. All of those five ways that you came up with last class, great ways, great things, great things that would make the government uh, and our country better. But what if, what if all of those things came at a cost to you? And what I mean by that is, what if we could accomplish all those things, but they took money out of your paycheck? A lot of money. Would you be okay with that? If instead of making uh, $30,000 a year, you made $15,000 a year. Would you be okay with only making $15,000 a year if you got to accomplish those five things that you came up with last class? I want you to think about that because that is actually part one of what you are going to be doing today. The other is still not going to be related to the debate. I mean, it is, but it's not. I'm not giving you the debate prompt yet. I'll give it to you next class. But today, the second thing that you're going to do is we need to figure out what on earth taxes go to. We know the government spends money, tax money, tax dollars to make the world, to make the country, to make the states, the cities better. But what do they spend the money on? Hmm. Maybe you know. Maybe you only know a few. Maybe you know a whole lot. If you know a whole lot, this assignment will be easy for you. But you do have a bit of a doozy of an assignment today. you got two things. Let's take a look. Today's assignment, number one. Answer the your money question. That's the hypothetical I just posed to you. If we can make the world, the country, your state, your city a better place, but it came at your expense, specifically out of your paycheck, and it was your money, would you be okay with it? Yes or no? And why? Next, number two, I want you to research and list 20. That's right, that's not a typo. Two, oh, 20, 20, 20. 20. 20 things that the government spends tax dollars on. 20 different things. This is information that's easily available on the internet. Be careful of what sources you use because a lot of times they'll say 20 things that the government wastes the money on. You can put some of those on there, but also tell me some of the good stuff. Give me a variety. Tell me some of the good things that they spend the money on. Tell me some of the bad things, the stupid things. Tell me some of the great things. All in all, just tell me 20 things that the government spends money, tax money on. And it can be state or national, both together, doesn't matter to me. Just 20 things the government spends their money on. That is it. That means you got 21 things here. Question number one, answer the your money question. Would you be okay with it? Yes or no? And why? Number two, tell me, list out 20 things that the government spends tax dollars on. Give that to me by the end of the day. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to help you. Just shoot me an email and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If not, you guys have a great rest of your hump day. And we'll see you all Friday.